trying to find the pool area. And here we can see what's supposed to be a koi pond. Looks oh, a little bit dirty, but they are fishing there. I don't see any koi. But okay. So as I said before, in one of the videos, I don't remember which one. There's actually two, two pools. So we're going to one of the two. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can as we go along. Another little koi pond. That's the other thing on top of the food. And the water is running straight through. That's another tributary. I don't know if it's artificial, man made, I think it's artificial. I mean, like the tributary has to right there. This thing here. I'm guessing it's from like some water source somewhere else. Yeah. It goes all the way down. On this one, and it goes up over there. Pick it up. All right, I'm getting off track to where I need to get to. And Yo, this property is pretty. I don't know how to say it. It's like it's not big, but it's not small. Like everything just feels like you know just well put together it's like the perfect size so some kofa dining right. i think the pool is on the edge of the cliff too if i remember it right um, so here's like a little grill area and stuff it's pretty dope some cliffside dining seats and there's one pool that we finally got to. Wow. This is just fit. Very nice. Very nice pool we got here. It could have almost been an infinity pool. They never had that thing right there, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I hope I don't slip in so I don't want to help. It's pretty neat. Swim and right off to the edge. We'll probably do that later. Here I can see the sea grapes a lot closer up. These ones aren't ripe, but yeah. When they're ripe, they turn like a very dark purple color. I don't know if there's different varieties, but that's what I'm used to. Yeah, these aren't ripe, these are really tough. Man, this hammock looks really dope. Hmm. When I was younger, I used to think that you could only have a hammock unless you had like two trees, like one over here, one over there, but I guess not. Like, I wished that I had known the history of everything here. Because um, I know Portland has something to do with um, maybe the cannons and how they could see out the sea, I'm not so sure. But here, remember I spoke about the whole art farm and coming here and knowing certain things? You can see how, you know, our history as Jamaicans, we are, you know, we're coming from slavery, pretty much. And you can see how our forefathers, our ancestors, even though a lot of people don't like to accept that, you know, that this is what we are from, you know, this is the grim side of everything, you know? Of course, before that we were kings, you know, living the good life. But then we came here and, you know, we had to rebel to fight against, you know, our captors. And yeah, this little room depicts a lot. Um, so here we can see a nice depiction on the map here of everything. 
I'll hold it like this so you guys can pause, take a quick freeze frame to see everything if you need to. But yeah, here's a better depiction of the ship. Like, the people from Jamaica were shipped here like sardines. There was no space. Like, people were defecating on each other, urinating on each other with very little eat. Is it me? Think about it, man. A lot of us are couch potatoes. We don't go out. And it makes us sluggish and lazy. Can you imagine being stuck like this, traveling for months? It's, man, it's, it's, it's tough. I don't know how true this is, if this is like anything like that's an actual artifact, I don't know. But um, it's a nice little touch. So here we can see it on the map closer, North America. We have the West Indies, sugar and rum tobacco, back to Britain. There we see the slaves, West Africa, where most of us were from. All right, so I'm gonna go up this little thing here and um, get to show you a bit better the lookout. Is like the forest areas like that covers over the tops of where we were walking just now which is good and so you're not going to be very hot at all even when the rain falls you're going to have rain breaks because of the, the trees which is quite awesome as well and then what i like this is also a nice little touch this morning i woke up and i saw umbrellas i saw umbrellas um i saw an umbrella in my room and i was like you know where did this come from but apparently they put umbrellas just in case you need to move from one spot to the next. And of course, Judah is over here, rocking her in her little chair, and just chilling. So you can look off. And then you got fridge, so if you want to have your beers. Um, and then you have, you know, I guess this is like a, a little fireplace thing you can put like hot rocks in or whatever. So, wait, 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 wait. I think I think we're in someone's room. I think we should be. That's good. I think so. Here. It says, look, it says, notice African sunrise occupied. Please do not like this fire. So we were, in one of, we were in one of the huts just now. Okay. So guys, what I kind of have noticed is like, if you're not careful, you can really end up in someone else's property and not know. Because this morning, I was trying to find the showers and I saw on the door it said, it said queen. So I was like, no, there's got to be a man section somewhere else. So I, I ended up walking into some other person's shower area. I mean, I don't know if no, nobody was there, like no one stopped me or anything. But then I realized, I was like, nah, this looks like it's one of the huts that has its own little shower area. So luckily, um, the king's was right beside the queen's. I just didn't see it. Um, so, yeah. So whenever you're here, just, just be careful. You know how you're walking about. But it's just nice. It's like a nice little communal setup. Different huts and stuff. It's pretty dope. We're back at the front. Huh? We're back at the front. Where? Oh, the receptionist? So, where did they say the other pool is? So, the snake trail site. Jamaica never met nobody called a dirty junker. Yeah? Never let people call you a dirty junker. It's the worst name ever. I can tell you that much. So the junkers in Jamaica, they're pretty much vultures. In America, they would call them vultures. Of course, scavengers of the earth. I'm good, I'm not dead. You, you can 
go. Can you imagine, guys? He's not even flapping his wings. He's just pretty much gliding on the air. Like, bro. Go. Anyway, we're trying to find the um the other pool. Judah said it's somewhere over here. Somewhere over on this side. Oh yeah. This is actually a part of the property. I remember seeing this one online. But this is probably like more of a private house. I don't know. the other pool which is a bit bigger more luxurious looking you know the whole thing in the middle it's pretty nice I still prefer the smaller one it's a lot more intimate yeah I had to switch my mic around so you guys can now hear me better this one is pretty unique though but I like the smaller one it's a bit um you feel me it's a bit closer to the cliff the cliff side but this one is nice we'll definitely use this for sure all right so I guess six feet is the highest it goes the deepest it goes All right, so we did find a second pool. I think we pretty much explored most of the places. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the African house. I don't even know how long these videos are. Wherever they stop, I'll just stop them. And continue with the whole Great Hut series, however we do it. All right, so here we see like a lot of African touched, um, African styled, Craft works, you know, you got masks, you got the shelves, you know, photos, not photos, pictures, paintings, some pretty unique artwork, like, that's like made out of zinc, like a zinc rooftop that they painted on. Love that yellow where I saw. And of course, the mongrel, it's always in the cut. Um, and these stairwells, I don't know if you can even walk on these because these look pretty fragile. I'm wrong. It's pretty strong. It's actually made out of um, steel and I guess they wrap it around and then they spray it. Okay, but this is pretty artsy. I kid you not. It's pretty artsy. So you got some nice bay looking windows you can look out of. In here it's really quiet. Really, really quiet. Pretty unique artwork. Wow, it's pretty cool. To be quite honest, I'm a bit scared to touch some of these things. You know, you watch those movies and like some of these things are like, have some hidden powers and stuff. Yeah, buddy. Some nice African print pillows. It's dope. Yeah. You guys can come here and check it out yourself. Oh, oh. I like this piece of painting over here. Oh, check this out. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. On that little fragile looking thing. Oh, they got a kitchen area. I'm trying to wonder if this is like um, a house house that you can rent or what? Because there's a big old kitchen area here. And then of course the cow, cow skin seats. Hmm. 
Oh, yo, the doors. Doors are beautiful, man. All right, let me try to. Can this take us upstairs or, or what? All right. I'm a little bit apprehensive. No, it's good. It's good. Yes, it's definitely made out of um the little vine things, but there's a steel structure at the base, so no worries. <laughs> oh, okay. I see you. I see you. And then, yo, we could have a really lit party up here. I kid you not. I could have like a soy vlogs party. That would be dope. Yeah, I need more subscribers. For sure. We have like a soy vlogs party. Like got people, people who come here and book it out or whatever, have a little bit of music, chill. You know, because it's a nice spacing. Out here could probably easy hold, um, easily hold hmm, 200 people or more, for sure. And then it gives you a good view, overhead view, of the snake trail, kind of. Yeah, it's pretty dope up here. All right, all right. So pretty much we're leaving this place. Um, I don't want to show every and anything because you guys will get bored of that, but you guys can come here yourself. Those of you who are like artistic or very artsy and you want to you know, check these things out in more detail, you guys can feel free to do that. Um, but yeah, I think we're about to figure out what we're going to have next on our agenda. And then I'm going to end this video right here. All right, guys. So. Thank you for checking out my crib here on MTV Cribs. And remember these three things as always, guys. Love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.